Hello, you are watching E-News Bulletin of IPR Department with me, Cheering Eden. Let's look at what's been making headlines in the past 24 hours. Constitution Day, also known as Samvidhan Devas, is celebrated in our country on 26th of November every year to commemorate the adoption of the Constitution of India. On 26th of November 1949, the Constituent Assembly of India adopted the Constitution of India, which came into effect from 26th of January 1950. Every year throughout the country, the 26th of November is celebrated as Constitution Day to promote constitution values among citizens. On the occasion of Samvidhan Devas, a blood donation camp was organized today in association with Voluntary Blood Donor Association of Sikkim for the first time at Rajpawan Gantok. It was informed that more than 750 people have registered their names for voluntary blood donation throughout the state and more than 500 units of blood is expected to be collected by the end of today from blood banks or blood collection centers at STNM Hospital, CRH Manipal and District Hospitals at Namchi and Singtam. All the volunteers will be awarded certificates and a helmet each. Some of the top donors of the state, healthcare workers and various associations were felicitated today at Raj Bhavan with certificates and cash award. Free health camp, dental checkup and eye checkup were also organized today by Ayush and Rotary Club of Cat Talk. Governor of Sikkim Ganga Prasad conducted pledge-taking ceremony with reading of the preamble to the constitution. Apart from the governor, the program was also attended by Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang, Speaker, State Legislative Assembly L.B. Das, MP Lok Sabha Ministers, MLAs, Chief Secretary of the State Government, Heads of Departments, Volunteers, Health Workers, Voluntary Associations and Students. Minister of State, Minister of Donor and Cooperation Government of India, B.L. Verma, who is in Sikkim on a three-day visit, carried out an inspection of the Gangtok Rumtek Sang Road on Thursday. The 24-kilometer road has been funded by the donor and was completed on 31st of March 2021. The GRS road originates from opposite of Mayfair Hotel near Ranipul and traverses through Adampul, Sajong Rumtek and culminates at Sang Bazar. The road is designated as State Highway. The minister expressed satisfaction at the completion of the project and said that the ministry will further support the upgradation of the road beyond Sang, for which a DPR is to be sent. The minister was accompanied in the visit by officers and engineers of Roads and Bridges Department, Government of Sikkim. Later, the Minister of State visited STNM Hospital, Soshagang, where he inspected the annex building, which has been partly funded by the Ministry of Donor. He also inspected the COVID ward and oxygen plants established in the hospital. Earlier in the day, Donor Minister visited Nathula Pass and interacted with the officers of the army. In the evening, Minister Verma met the President and members of the Sikkim Film Cooperative Society and assured support in their endeavours. Summing up his three-day visit to Sikkim, the Minister of State lauded the state government for the timely implementation of developmental projects. He further assured full support to the state from the Ministry of Donor for all upcoming projects. On Thursday, Minister Kam Area MLA of Gelsing Bormai constituency Loknath Sharma interacted with the trainees of Green Skill Development Program organized by Sikkim Envis Hub Forest and Environment Department, Government of Sikkim, in partnership with Himalayan Science Society at Rathmati West Sikkim. Minister Sharma applauded the creative designs of bamboo handicrafts made by the trainees and encouraged them to enhance value addition in crafting bamboo products. It may be mentioned here that uh, bamboo master trainer Akash Deka from Assam is the resource person for practical sessions of bamboo creative arts. The training session started from 15th of November will continue till 31st of December 2021. The program is being supervised by Dr. Tika Sharma, bamboo consultant, horticulture department. Chief Secretary S.C. Gupta chaired a meeting regarding Sikkim Film Policy 2021 at Tashaling Secretariat on Thursday. 
The chief secretary said that the main focus should be on how to execute the policy during the pre- and post-shooting schedule. He further inquired about the assistance that will be provided by the Sikkim Film Promotion Board. He said that the board should be like an umbrella organization depending on the resources available with all the categories defined specifically. The Chief Secretary further said that the board should promote local cinema to with the infrastructure and provide hands-on access to websites for talent pool and all the shooting destinations. A detailed presentation of the draft of the Sikkim Film Policy 2021 was presented by Director IPR Department Benuguru, wherein she threw light on various aspects about the management and implementation. The meeting also reviewed the film policy of 2020 with the allied departments and stakeholders and after a series of detailed discussion, additional issues were incorporated to make it more accessible and feasible to the filmmakers to come and invest in Sikkim. The meeting was attended by Principal Secretary Home Department Art Telang, Chairperson Sikkim Film Promotion Board Pooja Sharma, along with heads of departments and representatives of the allied departments. Sikkim Manipal University on Thursday started a CRH Manipal Cares Multi Speciality Polyclinic Pharmacy and Wellness Center at 5th Mile Thadong. The facility was inaugurated by SMU Vice Chancellor Lieutenant General Dr. Rajin S. Grewal and CRH Medical Superintendent Dr. Yogesh Verma. Addressing the press and media, the VC said that the launch of the multi-speciality polyclinic along with pharmacy and a wellness center is an initiative of the Sikkim Manipal University and offers a one-stop destination for multi-speciality consultations, a walk-in pharmacy and laboratory tests. The polyclinic that has been set up at Ladakhi building opposite SMU Main Gate 5th Mile will provide facilities of efficient registration and reception, lab investigations and health checkups, thereby extending the benefit of ease of access to specialized tertiary healthcare services for the citizens of the state of Sikkim. It is to be hoped that the multi-speciality polyclinic will bridge the gap between the hospital visits reduce the consultation time and provide patients with more value added, accessible and efficiently coordinated OPD's care. The polyclinic and OPD will operate daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. whereas the patients can also book their slots on payment basis with specialists of their choice for consultation in the 7.30 to 9 a.m. morning slot and 5 to 7.30 p.m. evening slot. MS Dr. Verma said that the polyclinic will act as a sample collection center and people need not visit hospital for the same. All kinds of test facilities will be available in the polyclinic itself. Further, it was informed that the wellness center co-located with the multi-speciality polyclinic has been established to encompass health solutions of healing through traditional and holistic methods of treatment including Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Homeopathy and other traditional medicine and therapies unique to the state of Sikkim. This is all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page. That is the Government of Sikkim official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Please continue wearing masks, wash your hands regularly and maintain physical distance as our fight against COVID-19 still continues. Thank you for tuning in.